another problem and this one's a beauty. Let's count carbons again because we need to convert bromobutane, so I have four carbons right here, into hexanoic acid. So I need to go from four carbons to six carbons. And whenever you actually increase a number by two carbons, the easiest way to do it would be by using an epoxide. Because the epoxide, I'm not doing anything, I'm just showing you the epoxide. The epoxide it has two carbons already and it has the oxygen that can be converted to a carboxylic acid. So we need to attack this carbon of the epoxide with this carbon. So I need to make this carbon negative. All right, well, it's totally up to you, but I, I prefer green yarns, but I'm going to actually use an organolithium. So you take lithium you cut a little chunk of it and you throw it in your bromobutane. If you don't like organolithiums, you can use a green yarn. That's perfectly fine. In that case, instead of lithium, just throw in some magnesium turnings. Let me put the solvent here, diethyl ether. And now I have a negative carbon that can easily attack the epoxide. I'm going to put the epoxide in red so that we see where the carbons are going. All right, this carbon is negative, so it's going to attack my epoxide. So it attacks one of the carbons of the epoxides, and it's going to break this bond right here between the carbon and the oxygen. And whenever you break a bond, you give the electrons to the most electronegative element, so the oxygen gets the electrons. So one, two, three, four, and we just added one and two. And the second carbon has the oxygen. It's going to be negative until we quench the reaction, until we work it up. And then, of course, it's going to pick up a proton. But the important thing is that now I have one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. What kind of alcohol is this? Primary, secondary? It's a primary alcohol. And primary alcohols can be easily oxidized to the carboxylic acid by using chromium-6. So I'm going to use chromium trioxide. When you use it, you always have to have sulfuric acid in there. And you will get your hexanoic acid. So first you make either the green yard or the organolithium. Right here, I made the organolithium. Then you throw in the epoxide. This particular epoxide doesn't matter which side you attack, you're all, always going to get the primary alcohol right here. Remember, you attack one carbon, the oxygen goes on the other carbon. And then you oxidize to the carboxylic acid. If it had been an aldehyde right here, since I have plenty of paper, I'm going to go ahead and do it. If you had had an aldehyde, you could have used PCC if you wanted an aldehyde. One, two, three four, five, and six. So I can either go to the carboxylic acid or the aldehyde. 